Hey everyone, this is Mr. Isometric and in this video we are going to talk about locked track bone constraint. Now this constraint is pretty small so I won't take much of your time. Now let's just watch this video till the end and do whatever am I doing. So let us suppose you have in your rig two bones and these two bones we need to turn on the name and axis to know the name of the bone and axis. Now let's go into the wireframe mode so that you can see the local axis of each individual bone that is really necessary. Now hit control tab and let's go to the pose mode. Now I want to add constraint on bone number one. So I'm just going to go to the bone constraint and then add in the lock track bone constraint. Now in this constraint, you can assign a target bone. So I'm just going to quickly assign my this bone as my target bone. After assigning, you'll see that we have a few options here. So head and tail, we'll talk about that later. Now the first thing is the tracking axis and it is set to Y. The locked axis it is set to Z. Now what does this mean? So the tracking axis is Y which means that my Y uh, of my constraint bone is going to point towards my target bone always and this locked axis means that my Z axis uh, is the only axis like for my constraint bone. This bone is only allowed to rotate on the Z axis and to better understood let me just change this tracking axis to Z. And as you can see, it suddenly turned to red from white. Uh, and the reason why is that because that's, we cannot select two same components. So my tracking axis and my lock axis cannot be the same. So I'm just going to make this on the Y axis. So now my constrained bones Z axis will always point towards my target bone and it is only allowed to rotate on the Y axis. So let's see what happens now if I grab this and move it you'll see that it is pointing the Z axis of the bone is pointing towards the target bone and it is only allowed to rotate on the Y axis. Now if I move this bone up and down it doesn't matter like if I move this bone up down in circles in any plane it is still going to not rotate but it is still going to at least look towards the target bone. So now if I allow it to rotate on the local X axis instead of Y. So now my Z is pointing towards the target bone. Now it is not only just pointing towards the target bone, it is specifically pointing towards the head of the bone. Now from that I mean is as you can see this slider over here, it is set to zero which means the head and one means the tail. So in any case the target uh, this point is known as tail and target this point is known as head. So it is better to use octahedral to know where our tail and head is. Now if I set it to 0.5 it is going to point uh, towards the middle of the bone um, which is also really handy in some cases. So depending upon your situation you'll have to change this constraint. Now what if I make it go x axis so let's make it x axis. Let's make it to point towards the head uh, and the only axis that it is allowed to rotate is the Y axis. So suddenly my bone rotates itself to align my X axis, my local X axis to point towards the target bone. And that's how this constraint works. Pretty simple, nothing um, much complicated. Um, the last thing is the influence and this influence is used to make this constraint turn on and off. Or if you have other constraints in the layer uh, stacked below or on the top, you know, then you can use this influence as a weight value, like how much weight, how much uh, weight this uh, constraint carries. So 50%. So my x uh, x axis is now only pointing 50% the way, and it will always do that. So it will always stay 50% mark. So that's how this constraint works. Now guys, I'm talking about all of these bone constraints in their each individual videos because a long two or three hours videos would be really painful to watch. So yeah, you can check out the other constraints that I have talked about in a single playlist and also you can support me on Kofi or you can just subscribe to the channel. If you want to hang out together, we can in our discord server. The link will be in the description below. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye.